Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about creating print on demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys how you could create this design right here. Now this uh, utilizes some uh, pre-made Canva t-shirt templates. And so I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, find those. I'm going to show you different examples. I'm going to show you how you can uh, edit those to create a design similar to this one um, and a zillion other designs. So if you are interested in that, go ahead and stick around. So here I am on Canva's home page. I am going to be designing for a t-shirt today. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to the right hand side where it says custom size. I can click on that and then I'm going to go ahead and select 4500 by 5400 pixels. Now this will pull up a blank page here. Now, typically at this point, I would go ahead and change the background color to black, just because I like to design for the darker color t-shirts. It's not as important for what I'm gonna show you today, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, so you can see I would change the background color to black. Today, instead of designing from scratch, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use some of Canva's um, pre-made t-shirt templates to go ahead and create your own design and to get ideas for new designs or new design styles. So if you haven't looked at this, it's kind of cool. Um, we can see on the left-hand tabs here, it would normally open to the one that says design here. And there's different templates, styles, all sorts of things. Well, what you can do is you can search for shirt. So if I did a search for shirt, it's going to come up with all of these t-shirt uh, designs. So you can see any of these, you can scroll down, there's tons of them. And what we could do is use the layout or the fonts or the colors of any of these and just sort of edit them to make them our own cool design. And so you can see all sorts and this is a way that you can get some ideas or a way that you can learn how to create a design that otherwise you wouldn't know how to do or it would take you a long time to do. You can kind of use some of the pre-made stuff to make it a little easier. So there is one particular one that I'm looking for today that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna scroll down that you can kind of see all the different options there are. As I'm scrolling here, lots of really fun, cool ones, all different styles, obviously, a lot of vintage styles. I mean, there's some cool ones, like the layout of some of these looks really cool. Um, so even if you wanted to use totally different words, totally different graphics, just that layout is kind of a cool layout. And so those are some of the things that I look at. Um, some, of them, some of them are very simplistic, right? And then some of them are a lot, you know, more complicated. Um, I want to show you one that's sort of got a really cool vintage style to it that would be kind of more time consuming to do on your own. And so by using it, it's going to save a lot of time. So after scrolling for a while, I picked out some of the ones that I thought looked really cool. This is the one that I'm particularly going to show you guys today. Um, and this is what I mean when I say it might take a long time for you to put this together yourself, because what we've got is lots of individual little um, um, ornamental lines, so like little flourishes that are all put together in this way that makes it look really cool. Um, and so you could do it yourself because all of the elements that you see on any of these templates are available on Canva. So all of the fonts that you see, all of the elements you see, these are all things that you could um, make you know, from scratch using the Canva elements but it would probably take you a long time to find all of the elements and then to combine them in this way. So in that instance, some of these pre-made graphics can be super helpful. So if I want to take this general layout, but now create a totally new, you know, design out of it, I can use these colors. I can use the elements and the layout and I can just, you know, kind of change the words, change the, um, change the graphic here. I'm going to switch some of these around because this was made to fit this graphic. So it's not symmetrical here, whereas in the rest of the design is totally symmetrical. So what I would want to do, I'm going to get rid of this graphic and I'm going to make this side symmetrical to this side. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you that there are a ton of different pre-made designs that are all super super convenient and a lot of them when you open them up will have them in different color palettes as well so you can see the different color palettes 
there and it'll even give you like template style and it'll say more like this so that you can look at other ones that are very similar and you can see that there's a lot of really you know cool design styles that again you could pull up any of them and use um, and so I'm going to close this down right now and I'm going to show you I did pull up some other ones too so there was all sorts of different ones the same general idea that had all of those really cool flourishes that you could do on your own but that would take you probably a long time to find all of these little individual flourishes and put them together like this whereas in this it's kind of already done for you and so we can just sort of do some editing there are lots of other platforms that do similar stuff where they give you templates that you can edit um, and so you can do this the same thing here on Canva. Not everybody knows about that, but I'm going to start with this one here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this graphic. That's going to go. I'm going to be changing these uh, words here. I don't need an established by, so I'm going to get rid of that. But what I want to do first is kind of change this up. So what I can see here is I want this to be symmetrical to this. Now, in some instances, you can just sort of flip things, but because they're at angles, it might be hard to get it, you know, totally symmetrical. I mean, I could take this and go ahead and go to flip, flip horizontal, but now I'm still going to have to kind of try to turn it and see if I can line it up, you know, about the same angle it is here. And so you can do that. You can definitely try to do that. This one here is upside down. So not only would I need to flip it if I wanted to do it, but now I'm going to have to flip it. I'm going to have to bring it up. I'm still missing something. So I need this element here to go over there because that one's missing. So I could try to go ahead and take this one here, hit control D and copy it, and then flip that one as well. Rotate it to try to match, you know, something there. I'm going to have to rotate it more, something like that. And so you can see how I'm trying to line this up to make this side sort of symmetrical to that side. And so you can do it. It's not entirely perfect. A way that you could get it totally perfect if you wanted to, it just takes a couple extra steps would be for me to, well, first of all, I want to make a duplicate copy of this. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it. And what I'm going to do is get rid of everything, but what I want to duplicate. So what I would do here would be to literally start removing the frame. Boom. And you can see how I did that. Removing my fonts. And so the only thing that I want to duplicate is going to be the swirl that's on this side. And so looking at them right now, you can see that they're not perfectly symmetrical. I didn't do a good job of, of kind of getting the angles and everything right. But what I can do, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Now all I have is this one flourish here. Now I can't group them all together and flip it in one, but I can if I save it as an image. So if I was to just go ahead and title this really quick flourish, and I was to just save this as an image real quick, so go up to save, hit download, hit transparent background, and select just this one page here, I could now save just this image onto a page that I could now go ahead and pull up. Right, and so now I've got the same thing on a page and from here I can flip it. So now I can flip it. So now I'm going to have the exact horizontal copy. I'm going to crop in from the bottom, pull it all the way out. And so there you go. Now you can see how I've got the perfectly symmetrical mirror image. And all I'd have to do would be to take that and bring it up top here. So I could get rid of this side that didn't quite match perfectly and then just take the one that I just made and slide it on up and it should if I layer that right on top fit perfectly there you go so now I've got a perfectly symmetrical image there I'm gonna now that I've got it where I want it crop this down so it's not oops so it's not in the way of anything 
I'll crop it over here too so it's not in the way of anything. But there you go. So I talked through it, I took my time with it, but quite frankly, if you just do it yourself, it's super fast and easy to do and it ensures that you get a perfectly symmetrical um, side. And so now that I have that the way I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and create my design. And so we're gonna change the fonts. Uh, I might end up changing the color of this white too. I think I'm gonna make it that cream color as well. And I'm gonna find a graphic that I wanna fit in here. So you can do any kind of niche you want. Um, the cool thing with some of these vintage niches, um, they look good for things like, obviously anything vintage, vintage cars, vintage motorcycles look good. Anything, this is kind of a masculine design. So anything that's meant for more of a, a guy design, drinking designs look good, motorcycles, things like that are gonna work really well with just sort of this style. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go with the great evergreen niche of drinking because Drinking always sells, it sells year round. It's a great evergreen. There's tons of different uh, drinking niches out there. And so we're gonna go ahead and specify and go with one of the popular ones. And so we're gonna go with one that says, bourbon goes in, wisdom comes out. And so um, it's not trademarked, it's free to use. There are a lot of them up there on Amazon already, but that's the one I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it. And so what we're gonna do is start here and all I'm gonna do, highlight it, and write what I want, bourbon. And that actually fits pretty well. Depending on the length of the word, you may need to resize it and change the angle to make it fit, but that actually worked well. So bourbon, this one is gonna say, goes in. That one I might need to resize a little bit. And then here I'm gonna put wisdom, right? And then right here, comes out, perfect. So now I've got my words. So now I can resize whatever I want. I like the wisdom, it fills nicely. Goes in, did not fill nicely. So that I'm gonna need to make it a little bit bigger and make sure I get it centered where I want it. So something like that. If I need to space it a little bit more to fill the whole space, I can. So I can go up to spacing maybe move the letter spacing out a little bit so it fills it a little bit better there and so that looks nice if you're having trouble getting it lined up perfectly you can click on it and use the up down left right arrows on your keyboard to move it one pixel at a time up down left or right and so that's a great way that you can sort of get it exactly where you want it like i said the bourbon looks pretty good comes out i think that needs to be a little bit bigger so i'm going to make the font a little bit bigger now keep in mind, I can only make it so big because I want to make sure that there is enough space on either side. And then if I make it bigger, I'm going to have to change the angle a little bit too so that the angle is perfect. So I think I might need to tighten up the angle. So to do that, I'm going to go over to effects. And right now it's already got an angle. It's at 28. If I want to tighten it up just a little bit more, what I can do is maybe move it to 29. It's at negative 28, maybe negative 29. That looks pretty good. If I go to negative, oops, let's see, playing with this negative 30. That looks good too. That might be a little too tight. Maybe we go back to the 29. So we just kind of moved it one. By the way, if you're having trouble getting this, the same up, down, left, right um, rule applies. So if I've got this open and I have it on the curve, and I'm having trouble getting that exact little up uh, 29, all I have to do is hit the up down arrows on my keyboard and I can change that too. So I can hit down, it made it 31. I can hit up 30, up again 29. And so you can use the arrows on the keyboard for that too. So those arrows on the keyboard really do come in handy for all sorts of little micro adjustments there. And so again, making sure I have it centered, making sure it looks good, and then that looks pretty nice there. I don't think I need to space it out anymore. It fills it pretty nicely, but depending on what word you use, you might have to change the letter spacing like I did up here. And so once we get our words, they look nice. Everything looks good. I think I'm gonna change this color here more to that creamy color. I do like the creamy color, because again, it's giving it that nice vintage look that I like. So I'm gonna change that one to that creamy color too. So, so far, so good. And then because I'm making a bourbon or an alcohol design, I wanna have some sort of maybe glass of alcohol here, a bottle, um, some sort of, of image graphic here that goes with this overall design. 
Um, so here's where we're going to get to play with some of the graphics. So I'm going to go over oops, to the left hand side of the page. I'm going to go up to elements. I'm going to be searching and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to just start by bourbon. So I can put bourbon and see what comes up. If that doesn't work, I can switch to like whiskey or just alcohol or liquor and see what comes up. Um, so you might have to search a little bit. So there's all sorts of different design styles. You could do one with color. Um, but I think with this design, it might be better to stick with the two tone and do something that's more like this style. But let's see if I was to just take this one, not a great choice, but you can see I can take the colored one, shrink it down, stick it here in the middle. And I could have a, you know, colored version right there in the middle. I don't particularly like that, but that's one way that you could do it with some color, right? Or we could stick with sort of that, um, you know, one two tone kind of look, take this. I'm going to make this one again, that nice tan color. So I'm using the little, um, eyedropper feature here. I'm just hovering over the color in the design that I want to match it. And that's how I get my color the way I want it. And then I can shrink this glass down here and put this glass in the middle and see how it looks. And so actually, I think that that probably looks better in terms of styles than some of the colored ones, just because it, it matches the style a little bit better. And, you know, the drink doesn't fit the space perfectly. You'd probably be better with something that's a little bit more square versus rectangle like that. So you can always keep looking at the different designs, see if you find you know, a glass or something that you like better. It depends, you know, obviously how you want it to look. There's little things here like you could do like a bottle more if you wanted to. Um, there's different styles of glasses that you could do. And so lots of, you could do a barrel. You know, that's another way that you could go. Lots of ways that you could go in terms of picking your graphic. And then once you have your design sort of the way that you want it, we're gonna go ahead and resize it because I want it to be a little bit bigger. So once I have it the way I want, I'm gonna go over to the corner of the page. I'm going to left click and hold that down. And then I'm gonna drag over everything. When I drag over everything, it'll group it all together, which means I can now move it all together and size it all together. So I'm gonna make it so that it is centered and looks good. And so there is my design. So it started off as this one up here, which was, you know, uh, little helmets, some different colors. I guess this is a different color one, but same thing. So you can see it had the established by date. It had the, that graphic. It had um, sort of non-symmetrical features here. And so we took that and we created this. It's a totally different um, niche entirely. So this one's more of just enjoy the ride. This seems like it's more of like a motorcycle company, whereas in this is going to be more of like alcohol. So different, different niches, but that you can do. And so now this would be ready that you could put it on a t-shirt. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead, title this page, uh, bourbon goes in. And then I can go over to share. I can hit download. It's going to be a transparent background. It needs to be a PNG. We're going to select the page that we want, which is page 13. That's the one that we're on. Hit done and hit download. And now this is ready again to go on a t-shirt or anything else. And of course, if you didn't like these colors, you can change these colors as well. So I could have gone with a totally different um, color palette as well. I liked this color palette. Um, for this design style, because I really did like the colors. But if you wanted to do something else, I could go ahead and duplicate this page here. So now I've got my duplicate copy. And I could go ahead and change, you know, some of these colors if I wanted to, to anything else. So if I wanted to go with just a strictly white on black palette, I could do it where I would just have to then change the color of everything to white or the color of everything to a bluish palette. And I'd have to do that, you know, for both here. You can see how I would do that. There's, I could make it all bluish palette or I could make it all of a tealish palette and, and kind of do it like that. And so I could play with the different colors that there are. If I wanted it to be more of like a gold, I could do it that way. Um, if I wanted it to be more silver, I could go more gray like that. And so lots of different ways that we could go about doing that. Um, and you can always, 
you know, pretty much play all you want. So there it would be if I did everything in white, I could definitely make all of these individual elements white. I would have to go kind of one at a time and make them all white. And you could see how that might look there, just giving you a little idea. And so I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you can see how I could play with all of the different colors, change these all to different colors, use different color palettes. If you really wanted to be creative, you could take this whole thing now and just put a clipping mask over it. So a solid like gold clipping mask or silver clipping mask, you do it that way too. So lots of different options. You could also always add some more flourishes if you really wanted to make it your own, add some flourishes out here, flourishes there, flourishes there. So lots of different creative ways you can do it. The main thing I wanted to show you with this video was that there are lots of templates available um, for different t-shirt styles and different designs, and you can use some of those uh, templates to get a layout that's just going to save you a lot of time. Um, and so, you know, like I said, this was a lot faster to do it this way than to go ahead and look for all of these elements individually and try to put them all together this way. Instead, it came, boom, super easy. Again, I could change the fonts too. So if I didn't like this particular font, this is Rye, and I actually do like Rye. It's one of my favorite fonts. But if I wanted to go with another font that I thought might also look good with the design but be a little bit different, I could always, you know, play with the fonts and change those as well. So you can change this sort of however you want, however you think that it's going, you know, to look good, and you can play with it. And you can make several different versions too. So I could have one version in one color, one version in another color, one version with one font, one version with a different font, and so on and so forth. And just, you know, put up multiple different versions and just, you know, really, you know, scale this out tremendously. Take that one design and, you know, come up with 10, 12, 11, you know, however many different versions of that one design you want to put up. Um, if you have any questions about this, sorry, I ranted a little bit, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing well with your sales. I hope you're coming up with some good creative designs and continuing to grow your skills and learn new design skills. And I do hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.